Hi everyone. This is our new Plasma Static V 2.1. So this is the second iteration of our steel machine. The first one was just really a beta version. Let's uh, dive in to see what this thing's all about. You can see number one, the most obvious thing, apart from the shiny metal, is these huge plates. So these plates should probably accumulate upwards of half a kilo of heave per hour of heads. And uh, we believe that this machine should be processing somewhere between two to four kilos of finished heads per hour. And of course that depends on pre-processing biomass and your, and your abilities as a craftsman to operate the machine. So it, it, it will vary, but um, you know, let's look at some of the features. Uh, obviously, safety's built in. So look, when you open the door, everything turns off. So you're gonna see, boom. Uh oh, yeah. So if you're in a large facility and you have a lot of employees, and for safety reasons, you want to make sure that people that don't understand how the machine operates, they don't open the door and reach in and touch the plates before turning them off. So at this machine, if you open the the door the plates automatically turn off, so you just can't get hurt. So that's really cool. And then you have this uh, screen that kind of gives the operator a, a, a quick rundown of what's happening. So like one of the biggest problems is like the air supply. You might have a room that's adequate operating conditions, but the air supply isn't. So like the air may be too low and you can't process well because you don't have enough air, so you'll know it or the air may be too hot, the compressed air that's coming from your air compressor. You might have a cold room, but you're putting hot compressed air in there, and so that'll melt your hash. It'll tell you all that and the humidity of the actual air itself. And then what is happening in the cabin, right? What is the temperature of the cabin and what is the humidity of the cabin, which may differ from that of your room. And this is for the, for the vibrating feeders and, and, and hoppers, um, all those types of things. This is the feeder that's on top, this is the hopper. That's on the bottom, and this is the vibrator um, on the, uh, uh, the vibrating feeder. Yeah, you can set these parameters however you want, change the language or whatnot. But uh, we have <laughs> Italian themed uh, buttons, and then we have analog fine adjustments here just because you know your hands are sticky. I don't think that it's proper to be manipulating a PLC in a hash room because there's gonna be a lot of stickiness. And so I just think that analog controls are better um, for the longe longevity of the machine just because I know how hash works. But anyways, so what else do we have here? Okay, so aside from these ginormous plates, diffuser, LED, so these plates, right, on roller bearings. And so you can slide these easily back and forth. Look, you can slide these back and forth. They're just real smooth like butter and you can lock them in place and then you can lock this to change the angle of attack and this is a pro feature where you really the experienced operators understand what this does but by angling the plates you can change the electrical field so like for example if these two plates are closer at the top the electrical field is stronger than at the bottom and then you can have one straight and one curved or one one uh with a higher angle or both parallel. We recommend you start parallel until you understand how this sort of mechanism works, but um, you have that flexibility to up your game as you understand how the machine operates. But the machine operates, it's inevitable that you're gonna get a separation, um, but if you want to get that incredible separation, then you need to master your craft. And so these are discharge electrodes these things here are discharge electrodes, so the particles that don't separate, they fall into this hopper. But what happens with electrically charged particles, they wanna to stick to everything. And so that does become a problem. So if you discharge the particles, you reduce or eliminate that propensity of particles to cling to each other and clump and not want to go down that chute to recirculate and go again through the process and separate. And then all of these holes, these things, are, these things here, you can remove them. You know, they, they slide back and you can remove them. And um, what they do is the, you have a lot of air that's coming into the system. So the air, the air comes down through here 
And if you notice these slanted, the air wants to come straight up and create an air jet. And what it does is it takes all those light, volatile particles up with it. Um, and, and so to reduce that, we break that jet stream by using a vortex. Very, very, very simple, very elegant uh, way to do it. And then we clean the plates with a brush and you put a food service tray at the bottom. You just brush the plates off. That's how we collect it. That's really it. And these are all very well sealed. Look, it's very hermetically sealed. So dust management in this thing is very, very well done. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the basics of it. Uh, and of course, you're all familiar with the FDA hose that tribal charges the particles. And it spirals away up in here. And look at that. What is that? So that is a vibrator because if your hash is too humid, it's too wet, it will tend to clump. Sometimes it'll collect on that diffuser up there. And so you can control that to reduce that. But if that's happening, you have bigger problems. So that's more of like a secondary thing than a primary thing. That just means your stuff wasn't, shouldn't have been processed to begin with. You're not going to get a great separation anyways. But uh, yeah, and so this thing is all powered by a suction feeder. So you use compressed air here. So the air sucks from this side. This is negative pressure and this is positive pressure, which just causes suction and the particles moving that way. And so, yeah, this is, this is really the, all the gap that you have for, you know, dusty particles coming into the system. So you load this from the top, you would feel this hopper like, you could really put two, three kilos in there and eventually it's going to come out. And so this vibrating feeder, you control the rate of feeding by the frequency of that vibrator and because of that gap right there. And it falls in here, gets sucked into here. As you can see, it's all stale. It's all easy to clean. Um, all of the contact pieces are food grade, be it uh, food grade plastic or food grade... Um, or obviously food grade steel. And then so this hopper has vibrators, which will help in the clumping. And then through these things here, you can make fine adjustments to the vibrator. Um, and then you have actuators and sensors down here. That's a key in sensor. So that's where the air to the entire system comes in. And that's the one that logs um, what is going on with your compressed air and you can make little fine adjustments until you find the sweet spot for your specific needs and your specific conditions. But yeah, but this is like the, the heart and guts of the system. That's all I got for you guys. Thanks for watching.